Hello, this is Chris Menard. This is part of my Excel online training course. We're going to look at multiple ways to remove duplicates. Let's dive in right now. So the very first exercise is pretty simple. We have a list of customer numbers and we have duplicate customer numbers. Let's first see if we can just highlight them using conditional formatting. I'm going to go to cell A2. Control shift down arrow selected them all. It stops in A37. Home tab, conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, duplicate values. By default, it selects the duplicates, but if you wanted to see what was unique, you just change it to unique and it highlights the unique. We're going to stick with the duplicate values. Click OK, and there are the duplicate values highlighted. Now that didn't remove them, but that is a cool way to select them. Another nice feature, if you actually want to find them, I'm going to go to cell B2. We can use the unique function in Excel. Not every version of Excel is going to have this function, but it is in M365 and also in Excel 2021. I'm not sure about Excel 2019. I'll put the full list down below. But for the unique function, A2, control shift, down arrow, press enter. That is it right there. There are your unique values. If you notice, just to scroll down, there are three that are missing. So that is correct right there. I'm going to delete that just to keep it clean. And the third method, if you actually want to remove the duplicates, one of my favorite features in Excel, I'm just going to go to cell A2. Go to the data tab at the top and we have remove duplicates and data tools. Select it. It's picking up that customer number is the header row. And by the way, since we use conditional formatting after we remove the duplicates, nothing should be in this red background. When I click on OK, three duplicate values found and removed, 33 unique. Perfect. Click OK. Let's move on to the next worksheet, customers and names. Now in this example, the issue is we've got duplicate values still in column A, but they're repeating in column B and in column C with the names, last name and first name. So if you try to go to A2, use control shift, right arrow, then down arrow. Now let go of control and shift. If you go to the home tab and use conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, duplicate values, click OK. It is incorrect for what we want to do. It did find duplicate values, but not the way we wanted to. Notice we've got a John in cell C5 because we've got John listed somewhere else, uh, further down or somewhere. So it's working, but it's not doing what we want to. So I'm going to clear the rules. Doesn't matter, I'll just do the entire sheet. So what we want to do here is go to cell D1, add a helper column. I'm going to call it helper one. Let's make it bold, keep it, keep it right. And we're going to use the concatenate function. C-O-N-C-A-T, tab, select A2 to C2, press enter. Go to D2, autofill it down with a double click. Perfect. So there is the concatenate function right there. Now use conditional formatting to find the duplicates in D2 down to D37. Duplicate values. Click OK. We can shrink this down. It still looks horrible, by the way, because we're still seeing those names. So what you can do here is a really cool trick. Either on the main keyboard, control number one or right click and go to format cells, whatever way you want to do this. I'm going to use control one. Go to custom. The very first one is your sample. Highlight general and you want to do three semicolons. So there's the first one, the second one and watch when I do the third one. The third semicolon will hide the cell values. Click OK. Now you can shrink this down. And that actually looks pretty good right there for your duplicate values. 
One more method right here. Let me move this text box just a little bit out of the way. I'm just dragging it over. We could have also done a count if here. I'm going to go to cell D1 and I'm going to autofill this. So this is our second helper column and we're going to do equals count if. We're going to select D2 down. We need to make that absolute cell reference. So either the F4 key or type the dollar signs manually. A comma, you're on the second argument. And the argument is going to be cell D2. We're not going to use absolute or mixed reference on that. We'll leave it as relative. So what that is doing is counting cell D2 and it's saying D2 is actually in this list twice. And of course, it's got the red color over here. Double click. We should get a bunch of twos and ones. Possibly a three, by the way. You could get more. That's fine. Perfect. So now you can either filter or you could do conditional formatting on this right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and online or my Teams, Copilot, Excel training courses, and OneNote. Thank you.